Yeah, it's like I'm actually watching a YouTube video doing work. Um, anyways, so what's up? Um, today I got some really crazy news. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded a bunch of videos recently, but like I said, I'm not really doing YouTube full time, so please understand that. And if you guys are a huge fan of World Gaming, gaming videos will be coming out soon. Actually, since I've been uh, kind of on the bench at work lately, um, and we're just working on a on a time uh, a timekeeping application. I might just, you know, spend every 15 minutes or so editing old videos. I have, I'm, like I said, I'm really just trying to get my PC cleared out before I start doing any more hardcore projects. Plus, I've been spending a lot of my uh, spare time playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption. And uh, haven't been recording any of that because, well, it's a big game. Um, I probably sank 40 more, 40 plus hours into it. I'm only in Chapter 4 because I decided to go do all the other crazy stuff that you can do in the game. But... What I'm here to do today is show you guys some really cool stuff. Um, you guys know, if you guys are fans of the channel back in the day, um, I do have a like 40 gallon fish tank in the house. Um, this is the 40 gallon fish tank. Actually, I think it's more of 30 gallons, but I think it's, I, I, I'm gonna say it's 40. Um, and we've lost quite a few fish in this tank over the year, over the past year or so. And I feel really bad, you know, losing, losing animals that are in your care kind of sucks um some of them most of them all died from stress related diseases which i tried to help heal with you know obviously um medicine for fish and stuff that i have but they just inevitably ended up passing away but so right now this tank is going good it is running strong it's, it's, it's running normal it's at a great temperature i have probably guaranteed um just in this tank alone i have sunk in a good like five hundred dollars, and I actually refurbished this tank, so this wasn't like bought the way it was. Like I, I put, I, I built this whole thing and stuff like that. Like I re, re hinged it, put knobs on it, sanded it, refinished it, and everything like that. But so far, we have an angelfish in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that that bugger, but we have an angelfish in the back. Um, we have uh, the fish right there. You're seeing. I don't know if you guys can see him that well. That is Pinky. Um, then back here, if you guys can see him, that is Strawberry. Then over here we have our Clanko, which is, name is Oscar. And then we have Angelo, which is the angelfish in the far back. And this is the 30 to 40 gallon tank right there. Really pretty. I just added real life plants in here, which is this thing right here, the plants back there, and this lovely big rock right here. Um, I just added those, and <laughs> don't worry, the uh, the tank looks dirty, like kind of mucky, but it's only because I have it on a 24-hour light cycle, which means, what, depending on like hour of day it is, it'll be it'll match try to match the natural lighting of that time of day in the in the tank. Okay, so moving on, we have a five gallon in the bedroom, which is a female beta uh, elephant ear beta fe uh, white. Elephant ear beta and a, a small guppy named Cheeto. The the beta in the five gallons name is Pearl. Um, I won't show you them today just because, um, yeah. And keep in mind, this is, we're I'm not a fish channel. I'm not a, I'm not like a fish expert. Um, and things in my tanks tend don't tend to change a lot. Um, they don't really change, tend to change at all. But uh, I had a beta a um, Half Moon uh, Beta that was blue. His name was uh, Willis, and he he lived with us for a year. Um, but sadly, I bought some Neon Tetras from a Petco uh, like two weeks ago, actually like three weeks ago. And in that time, in that week that we had them, all six of them died in Willis's tank, and then inevitably causing Willis to die too from disease that they had. Um, when you're buying fish, keep in mind, you do not know if they are diseased or not at all. You really can't tell that kind of stuff, and you just got to pray that you're not buying diseased fish from a pet store. <laughs> um, it happens. It does. Um, <coughs> um, from my experience now, though, I will say, if you put a new fish in your fish tank, and you realize it, and you notice it's having the hardest time swimming, it's probably ill. Um, not every fish is like that, but if most fish are going into a 10 to 20 gallon tank and it can't swim and it keeps and you notice 
that, that, that one fish is hanging out a lot near the filter and having a hard time getting away, I would try to take it out of your tank as soon as possible because it's probably sick or it's not strong enough to uh, swim. And with the exceptions, if you guys are hearing me now, um, sometimes your filters are just really strong for fish. And if that's the case, they might be creating a massive current that could be actually stressing them out and then making them uh, more susceptible to illness. So this is actually the case with this 20 gallon tank, uh, 10 gallon tank I have in here, which is really the focal point of this video on my gaming channel. <laughs> because this is in my office now, and since Wills died three weeks ago, I was really kind of upset. I lost my beta after a year. He was my favorite beta. My wife got him for a Christmas gift, or an early Christmas gift, and um, he was he was a really he was a really awesome fish. Um, but one of the things that I was mad about was the fact that I never really took the time in the 10 gallon tank he was in, which is this tank, the tank in front of me. Um, I never really took the time to modify the, the the water filter to have less of a strong current. So I kind of always left the current the same and it was a it was an aquion filter and they're good but i would probably say right now as far as the 40 gallon you guys just saw in this tank is i'm definitely liking the marine lands more i, I just i feel like it's a better brand not not dissing aquion because i do have aquion heaters in all my tanks now but the the water filters um marine lands are much better for me so this is what i did this is a um, the only thing I reused in this 20 gallon tank is obviously, and this 10 gallon, not 20, 10, uh, is obviously my, my thermometer, my digital thermometer, the, uh, water stone, the air stone, and the heater. Everything else besides, like, one tank decoration in here is completely new. So, and sorry, if I'm looking a little chubby, it's not, it's not, it's just my beard, um, at certain times, I need to like trim it a little bit more, and I might be getting a little bit of weight in the face. I don't know, but um, I, I definitely need to trim my beard a little bit more. It's making me look fat. <laughs> um, it's not like it's a bad thing. So here, here's what I'm gonna say. I am running a uh, 10 gallon uh, Marine Land um, water filter. God, that is like terrible quality. Why is it doing that? Because it's not focusing. Okay, so this is a 10 gallon Marine Land filter. Um, it's a clean filter, it's fresh filter, and everything like that. Uh, that's a little loose, but all those little top pieces right here are usually loose. Um, a modification I did, if you guys can see down there, that blue um, thing is actually what they use to, uh, it's part of one of the scrubbers for glass tanks. If you want to like clean like algae and stuff off the inside of the tank. It's a scrubber like that. We cut the pad to fit there um, because the, the current this thing was producing was actually too strong and was throwing the fish around the whole tank. And I was like, oh my God. And the thing is, this is a sorority tank. Now, if you guys go out there on YouTube, almost every female or male like aquatics channel, and I'm saying female isn't because a lot of females actually out there are really good experts on, on the sorority tanks. But this is a sorority tank. I have five female betas in this 10 gallon tank with two guppy, male guppies. Um, they are doing fine. Only reason why I'm doing a 10 gallon tank and not a 20 gallon like most of those other channels, male and female combined, uh, would say is because, like I said, this used to belong to my one half moon beta. And when he died, I didn't, you know, I'm not gonna go out and spend $20 or $40 on a 20 gallon tank just to start a sorority tank, so I'm doing it to uh, use what I have, which isn't bad. Um, most people, I would actually, I would say, I would be slightly more comfortable if it was a 20 gallon tank with how many fish are in here, but if you go by inch to fish ratio, every gallon per, uh, a gallon per, uh, inch of fish per gallon of, t of water, this is a 10 gallon tank, I have seven fish in here, roughly equaling a little bit over an inch in length, so kind of do have uh inch of fish per thing because there's only seven fish in here again five female betas two guppies and they're all doing really well but um because I, I, I actually want to talk about this a little bit um the current was too strong so when i finally cut that pad um as you guys can see there when i finally cut that pad to fit this little bit of a section 
Um, and I don't know if you guys can see through this filter, but this thing is kind of like stopping and rotating and stopping and rotating really fast. It's keeping the current going and it's working. It, the filter is working. Um, it's a. Uh, it's actually made it to where they're not like being thrown again, thrown around in the tank. And now, um, something I did we did notice uh, day one on Saturday when we set up the, when we uh, put the fish in there because this tank ran for a week before I put fish in it. Which when I had the water tested, everybody was like, "Well, your ammonia is too high. It's, it's you know you, you shouldn't put fish in it." But put some uh, put some prime in there if you guys know what prime is. Uh, I would go ahead and go to the store and buy uh, prime for fish tanks. Um, put prime in there and put some quick start in there. Give it about one hour before you add any more fish to it if you're having a problem with ammonia or I mean ammonia, and your your tank should be fine to support fish. They have been living in this tank for now two days. None of them died. Actually, they're all pretty lively. I'm about to show you. Um, and they're they're all pretty happy uh, with their thing, um, but I'm I did a rock substrate, not a soil or sand or something crazy. We do have one rock in here with a live plant on it. The other plants in here are fake. Um, they're silk plants to be more gentle on the fish, and the rest of it is uh, just um, what they like to do. So right now I'm gonna show you the tank, and I, like I said. I would feel more comfortable with it being 20 gallons just because it would give them a lot more um, swimming room and I could also put a, a few more fish in here and be and have a much more active tank and maybe an algae eater. The way it's standing right now, I can't put an algae eater in here because it would be it would stress the tank a little bit, I think. Um, and there's not even algae in here to eat yet. Um, but so here's the tank. Um, as you guys can see, they're pretty active fish, <laughs> but active in the back, hanging out by the bubbles. Uh, that's rose. The fish under it, that's a little bit more yellow. That is bike. Um, there's a reason for that name, um, but I won't get into that. Um, he's just like chilling with the bubbles. That's funny. Um, then the one, the red one's name is Jumper, which actually the funny thing about Jumper is his color came back he was actually more yellow and red and now he's more red again so that's crazy the fish swimming over there back and forth uh the blue one that one's name is gray then you have the crown tail female here that is uh duchess and then you have the two um and then you have the two guppy twins but we call them the twins so all in all you have bike rose jumper duchess and gray those are the five female betas swimming in this tank as you guys see None of the fish are, are, you know, starving for any more room than they need. Um, uh, another reason why me and my wife decided to do, uh, keep the 10 gallon tank going and stuff is because if when we, we, we got these guys at, the, at Petco and the colony here in Texas and they were the only, uh, besides two elephant ears we decided not to get, they were the only females they had and they only had five. So we were like, why don't we just do it, you know? Um, so we went ahead and splurged on them which as you guys can see very active tank they all have they're all full of personalities um but they're they're small fish and as they grow bigger um maybe like, again i will show you guys uh pearl actually i'm gonna go ahead and show you now pearl and cheeto were really cool um this video is gonna be super long but Pearl and Cheeto, I, we've had for the longest time. Actually, Cheeto is one of the original guppies we had in the 40-gallon tank. But when he lost all of his tank mates due to diseases, or again, the filter being too strong, we had to uh, get rid of, we had to get him in a smaller tank, which ended up being this 5-gallon tank. And let's see if we can find him. Because they're sleeping. Uh, he's, he actually is sleeping. How crazy. Okay, so they're sleeping, but if you can see back there, that orange fish back there behind the green plant, I don't know if you, know, well, you guys can see that, that's Cheeto, and he's alive. He's just laying there in the bottom, and Pearl is right there in that rock, is that white fish right there, and she is fine. They're sleeping, apparently, which blows my mind, because... Oh, there's, there's Pearl. Pearl uh, just popped out. I didn't mean to wake you, Pearl. I'm so sorry. But yeah, as you guys can see, she is fully grown now. She is a huge, huge white female beta. Beautiful fins. My wife is really proud of her. But uh, she's, a, she's a 
beautiful. That is an elephant ear uh, female beta. She's a, she actually had fin rot when we got her from Petco in the same actual uh, cock uh, pellet store here in Texas. Um, and my wife is really scared that if we got a uh, beta with fin rot that she wouldn't survive. Let me see if I can get Cheeto up. There's Cheeto. See, there's Cheeto. He is a fully grown uh, assorted male guppy. He is fine. He's doing good. His fins are all out, so that's pretty awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and turn out their tank light because I usually don't turn it on because these guys do really well in their tank. And um, this is actually a all-in-one 5.5-gallon uh, five five kit. Um, and actually, what's their... Their tank is sitting at 75.9. So it's a, it's a little cold for them, but they seem to be doing pretty well in it. Um, that actually shocks me a little bit that it's so low. Um, I might end up having to replace their heater on this tank, which isn't a big deal. It's it's a it's like a ten gallon heater and a five gallon tank, but um, this is one of those top fin pet smart uh, all in one kits. But uh, as you guys can see, they're doing very well. They thrive pretty well. The water temperature is good. I mean, they say keep the water temperature around seventy eight to eighty. Seventy five has never killed a fish. Actually, most people say tropical fish need to be in seventy two to 82 degree water so there's a 10 degree difference and fluctuation you can have there and as long as you keep them in that kind of goldilocks zone then they are totally totally fine um and because that's a regular 10 gallon heater uh for a five gallon tank that thing turns on in like five seconds it's hot water um like i said it's only 75 degrees in that tank i have uh digital thermometers on all my tanks because it's easier to read it than having to like squint and see where it's at. But with all that said, you guys seen all the fish in my house, all the tanks in my house. And again, I wish I could do a 20 gallon there, but all the fish are relatively small. As you guys have seen the full size female beta in the five gallon tank, those, and if you guys take a size comparison to the ones we have here, they're relatively still small in that tank. So I'm gonna give them a few months, maybe, maybe half a year. And in that time period, when they grow bigger, you might see me upgrade to a 10 gallon, a 20 gallon tank and have them all doing that. And I might even, and since I am starting to do real plants in all my tanks, I might even, um, I might even switch that aquarium sooner or later to full on planted tank and have them a much better ecosystem for them to thrive and live in, which I'd be super happy with because I, I hate, as much as I have fake plants in all of my tanks, I hate it because I would be much more comfortable with the natural environment that these fish, you know, could live in and that I could provide. I'm not cheap, but I can easily afford some real plants and some tanks. Uh, but I also don't want to put plants in it that are going to die and make the fish sick. Because, you know, if you have a dead plant, that's just rotting matter that's in the tank, making the water cloudy and possibly contaminating it and giving the, the fish illness and hard chances hard to breathe, so... But with all that said, this is actually, believe it or not, the most active tank in the house. And I'm super happy with it because as as a gamer, like, you know, I play games all the time and, and I'm, I work, I'm a coder, I'm a programmer, you know, that's my daily daily job. But um, being in my, in my office, I like, I just, I find fish tank soothing. I always have since I was a kid. Um, if you guys really want to know the, my first ever fish experience and how I got into wanting fish my entire life. And being at the point where I never even thought I'd have three running fish tanks in my house and being up keeping them and having as many fish as I do because it blows my mind still. Um, I would be glad to tell you guys that story. Just leave it in the comment section down below. If you guys want to hear it, just say, hey, let us know the story. Um, I might even give you the story without needing your guys' uh, hearsay on it, you know. But um, yeah, that's just, that's just my story. I know this video has been 20 minutes long. I do not apologize for the length of this video. I had a load of fun showing you guys, talking to you guys about it, but everything like that. But I will say, we did have to modify the current on the 10 gallon because the current was too strong. And one of the things that I meant to tell you when I was telling you that was that because this current was too strong and we put five female betas in there, it was knocking them into each other, causing them to want to fight each other. But as you guys can see, when we fixed the current, now they don't want to do anything but swim next to each other. They're, they're friends now. But day one on Saturday when we um, 
when we put them in, my wife was freaking out because we just bought them. And she's like, oh my god, they're attacking each other. They're biting each other's fins. And I'm like, um, I think I know why. And she was like, why? And I was like, because the current's knocking them into each other. And these are territorial fish. They, they, want, they want to kind of have their own space. Um, like... Not to the point where, like, they're like, get away from me, you're swimming too close. But to the point where if they're constantly knocking into each other. I mean, think of yourself in a crowd, too. If somebody keeps knocking into you on the bus or on, the, on a train, and you're in this tiny, consigned space where you want your own, your own personal space, what would you do? You'd get mad. Um, and, and that's what they were doing. Only, you know, in, in the animal kingdom, when somebody's knocking into you, you're not so polite and saying, get off me. You, you hit back. <laughs> um... Regardless if it's something outside force is causing that. Um, so that's what we did. We also put uh, this Fluval. Um, it's a uh, Fluval. I wish I remember what it was. It's basically like a filter sleeve for the intake that sucks up the water before it spits it back out. We put a Fluval sleeve over that thing. And that was the first time me and my wife ever found that sleeve. I might be going back to that Petco this, sometime this week and buying another one of those. Um, or two because the first time we found that sleeve and that sleeve is literally a lifesaver it has helped that was the first time I ever had that thing in the tank and I will say the fish will lay up against the sleeve and and they can come right off so they're not gonna get sucked into the filter because these marine land things are strong filters like I said we had to modify the, the flow so it doesn't have a strong current and as you guys can see because the currents going and it's keeping the water fresh but it's just strong enough to you know keep water flowing like you know going in the cycle but it's not too strong so the fish feel like they can swim a lot more and they're a lot more happy and active so that's what i would say is i'm just super happy with the progress of the tank because it is super super cool having such an active tank and being a 10 gallon sorority tank is totally awesome now again people will be like we well, should have them at 20 gallon they're small fish I'm doing what I can. I'm happy to give all these fish better homes than the cups, which, believe it or not, those are all the cups that these betas were in. Right over there, that little pile of plastic. Um, they were all in those. So, being in that tank, swimming as active and happy as they are, and being fed every day, I'm pretty sure they're happy not being in a cup. So, again, we'll probably upgrade to a 20 gallon later. I'm actually about to buy I might even go this week and buy two 20 gallon tanks um, one for a different reason not fish related and one for these guys but it obviously will just be sitting in my house in storage until these guys get bigger and then I will properly make up a nice probably completely pl planted soiled awesome environment for these guys and I might even give them some more guppy friends because um, from what our guy at Petco told us is that Petco just started uh, being able to order different kinds of guppies in and, and I'm, I'm a kind of a huge little fan of guppies. We've had mollies and mollies like the fin nip and bully fish so I'm not too terrible a fan of those guys but the fish I am a fan of are angelfish, um, plankos obviously, algae eaters, uh, betas, I'm a huge fan of betas, uh, tetras and guppies, those are my favorite fish of all time so far. I haven't really had the chance to, to take care of anything else. Um, oh, and grommies. I love a grommie. Dwarf grommies are awesome fish. But, uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked Will to Kill Gaming, please give me a subscription down below and hit that bell notification if you guys want to be kept up to date on any videos I may release about fish tank taking care of these guys or any other fish tank around or just any other gaming game videos that are coming in the future again I am slowly but surely working on getting content out I'm probably gonna do a big push in 2019 to get my channel back and running it's the holidays right now I just got done with the flu probably a week or two ago and I'm just now kinda getting back into the flow of things um, and uh, yeah <sighs> I'm just, I'm tired. Today, actually, I'm tired. I drank a lot last night. But if you guys, again, enjoyed my content, please hit me up and uh, show your support. If you guys just liked the video, give me a thumbs up down below. Give me a comment down below with anything you might want to suggest for fish tanks in the future if I ever decide to do more than the three I have. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' suggestions and possibly talk to you guys. I do appreciate all the support I do. That is not a YouTube saying. Anybody who gets support from viewers on YouTube 
we do truly support you. Whether we have two subscribers or we have eight million subscribers, we all support the, the we all enjoy the support because it just means that you guys find it entertainment and some and, and somebody else's enjoyment and, and that gives us joy to give you guys more entertainment. So with all that said, peace out y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed Bullet Kill Gaming. Like I said, there will be gaming content coming soon, possibly reviews and other stuff too. So with all that said, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.